What is going on guys, Wiser here, and I am coming to you with a mini Hog Rider Clan Spotlight. Um, this one is for my friend Jay Parcel's clan uh, called Power COC. Now, uh, Invicta had just matched up with these guys, and they did have some struggles in that war, uh, but they had some insane successes. You know, they got really good attackers up top. Uh, they are still working on some of the kinks in their Town Hall 9 game. Uh, a lot of that just comes with hero levels, right? I mean, it gets easier and easier once your heroes get up in that 25-25 range uh, to start really cleaning up those 9s and just allowing your 10s to do as they please. Um, but... You know, I did one of these for my friend Boone uh, and their clan not too long ago. Um, they were kind of at a different stage than I'd say Power COC is because Power COC is a, a mix of fair play guys kind of from clans from all over uh, just kind of threw this thing together. They got uh, an awesome looking website. Uh, I don't know if it's 100% out. It must be out. Um, so check out their website. I believe it's just powercoc.com. Um, going to have to get that for you, but let's check over. They had a matchup against Beer Goggles here. I thought this was a perfect opportunity to do a little bit of a spotlight. Uh, this was, uh, you know, a big, big win for these guys because Beer Goggles is a great client. Uh, so 70-69 was the total of that score. And uh, both sides had some great successes, uh, but Power COC specifically really rocked it up top. Um, you can see there lots of triples in there. Everything's looking fantastic. This might sound a little weird, guys. Uh, as you know, a lot of uh, I've been having troubles with my webcam, so I had recorded something and there was no audio. So I am doing my best to narrate over top. But you see JP, you know they missed uh, JP up there at up top. But you see Power Coc, two stars, everything up top. They got a couple triples in there. Uh, I believe one TH10 triple in there. <clears throat> you know, cleaned up basically all the nines from what I remember. Oh no, missed a couple down there, but other than that, what a, what a performance. Good job, guys, overall. Uh, there are some really sexy replays in, in here as well to show, guys. I mean, <laughs> these the, this group knows what they're doing, and they are organized. They have a great-looking website. They got all sorts of stuff. So we're going to hop right in here and check out TK's hit on... Number 25, so he is going to be bringing this uh, Zapquake Dragon Attack that's becoming very, very, very popular. Uh, double Zapquakes, cause the, and only needs to bring one Earthquake here, because one Earthquake plays perfectly right in between those air defense, and see you later. <clears throat> so, now that those two air defense are both down, he needs to take care of at least one more of them if he's planning on sending these dragons in. So he goes ahead and drops this uh, this golem down at the like kind of four or five o'clock location, creates a bit of a funnel. Wall breakers are in. He's gonna let everything in onto this base. Wall is open now i should say wall is open uh everything's moving in king goes in behind queen goes in behind they're gonna walk right in get that other air defense but you can see what i'm talking about guys like you know 15 15 heroes i believe somewhere around there it's really hard for me to see the screen while i narrate this <laughs> but uh you know very low level heroes you can tell uh you know you do not get the same kind of push you just don't i mean um, I kind of went back with uh, one of my minis in my old friend's clan and even uh, in JP's clan uh, here with a couple times I've warred with them. I have to war with, I think, level 13 queen and 12 king and it makes a big difference. When you're used to like 25 plus heroes, you do not get the same push. So you need to you need to make sure they're getting their targets. You need to make sure that very specific objectives are being taken down. And then you can go ahead and send in the dragons from up top like he does here. All those drags are just going to work from 12 o'clock straight down. He drops the one Lava Hound, but it's burst very, very quickly on top of that air defense. <clears throat> haste goes down, kind of push those balloons in. A uh, little, little bit off on that haste. Not really, I guess. He does get a couple of those balloons. But air defense is now down right in time because those dragons are over there helping doing some cleanup. Got to move those uh, that pack of balloons over top of the Tesla farm there. Behind that sweeper, once that stuff goes down, this base does not stand a chance. Mm -mm 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 -mm. and it's basically cleanup time two mortars to go over there blam ba blam <clears throat> it's a nice tree in the bag for tk job buddy all right so uh next up i believe it was up the board a bit so number 11 there this is Yarby going in on Rue. 
The R brings a, a, a nice uh, queen walk or queen charge Govaho. Very, very overpowered attack. Uh, I was making comments about the open alleyway but with a wall going down the middle, which I think is at the very least you got to do. I just, I, that it's when it's so open, you can just drop Valks, you can drop whatever. Um, I mean, if you're not going to go off for walls on the outside, that wall on the inside, I think is a great idea. Um, it at least slows down an attacker that manages to get in there for whatever reason. Uh, I just don't think that leaving them wide open to me is just not beneficial. You're not slowing down the attacker enough, uh, and you're just letting them have free reign. But anyways, this uh, little queen walk going in uh, from 6 o'clock here. Looking pretty at this point. She's going to walk right into that compartment. Start taking out all that stuff. Uh, I believe diffuses a potential bomb location there in uh, in that core right above her. Uh, she is doing some serious work though. Going to continue her way up to the 3 o'clock spot. And then I believe... He drops in right when the queen... Yeah, there we go. So he kind of is going to close off this walk here. Once that king goes down, the queen's going to continue her way up, but closes off the walk. So she's going to join this kill squad. All the Valks go in with that cold-blooded golem. They're going to lock onto this queen in one second. She hops the wall, which is crazy, because that's like a four-space uh, four hop there. Uh, she's chasing off to those Valks, so she hops the wall. Everything just smokes that queen down. Jump spell goes down and kind of get, get over that intersection, over that... Uh, kind of middle middle spot spends it sends in a few hogs from 12 o'clock as well they're just going to work through this base sends in a few reinforcement hogs around the nine o'clock there's only like two compartments of defenses to go <clears throat> everything's healed everything's looking pretty tesla arch tower see you later base tree in the bag for yarby nice job buddy um, dun, 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 dun. moving up a couple more here. <clears throat> good old smiles going in on Beast. Another, uh, guess what? Queen charge Govaho. <laughs> it's just, it's so overpowered right now. I'm really, really, really interested to see um, what this healer nerf might cause. Because this attack style is so predominant right now at Town Hall 9 that... Uh, and think about it at Town Hall 10 and 11, right? Like, if you take Queen Walks away from Town Hall 10s and 11s, it's going to make the game very, very interesting for a lot of people. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it there because <laughs> I don't even know if it's for surely coming out or if, if what the leak, quote-unquote, said it was going to come out is actually accurate. But uh, only time will tell, I guess. Uh, we see this Queen Walk. He's going to walk this all the way up. Just got to work through this King. Poison goes down, guys. Really try and utilize that when your queen is engaging another enemy hero. Sometimes, I mean, if they're like right here, they're not. She's not taking a, uh, damage from anything else. So just drop a poison, and then you can conserve your rage, conserve your ability for a later time. You, uh, definitely, definitely, a lot of guys are utilizing that poison on those uh, defensive heroes just to get that help that queen out, slow their rate of fire. Uh, but everything's looking good. He uh, does that little bit of a lure, gets the CC out to the queen, rages it up. Uh, everything's looking pretty nice at this point. Just got to work through that 12 o'clock location. She's going to continue around the base. <laughs> She's basically going for all the way from 9 to 3 this uh, this uh, raid, <coughs> which is an insane value on that walk. She's just continuing on her way. Kill Squad is now in. All those Valks in. Cold-Blooded Golem. Huge compartment. Like, look at all that stuff. There's no space in that compartment. There's like 3, 6, 10... Like 10 or 12 structures compacted in that compartment. So Valks are getting great value. Might have even wanted a rage there as well. But uh, ended up using it on the Queen. No big deal. Heels go down. Help take care of that clan castle uh, stuff. Keep those Valks protected. Because the poison is down as well. Everything's just going to continue on into that core. Queen is still doing work up there. She is about to join the kill squad. <clears throat> but you can see everything's kind of in the corner. He heals the hogs down at the uh, 7 o'clock spot. Really just needs to work his way up through those Teslas into that expo. Uh, kill squad is in there. Valks are in there, right? Just doing work. Everything's looking pretty. Rages up the king. Wants to try and bust through that wall, but he doesn't need to because the hogs are in there. Bam, bam, bam. The bomb takes out a little bit, but it's no big deal. The queen is in there now helping mop up. Down goes the Tesla. See you later, base. Tree in the bag for smiles. Good job, man. 
Uh, then what would it, this be without a TH10 trip? So this is uh, obviously a bully, right? Uh, this is getting to be a very, very common uh, bully strat, but this is just in like an insane mass witch. Uh, so his goal here is to kind of get in to this large, large core. Like if you look, if you look at the base, kind of, um, I kind of like the uh, I like his sort of trying how this guy's trying to fit a dead zone in. But the other problem with this is one jump unlocks, like a double jump unlocks so much of this base, right? So when you bring witches, um, I mean, he doesn't bring the double jump here, but I, I mean, I guess you don't need it, right? Because watch, watch where he puts the one jump. It is basically allowing him into 80% of this base with all these witches. So all the witches going in, some of them take a bit of a walk down, uh, but once that spell factor goes down, I think they go back up. Yeah, everything else is going into this base. Just poison goes down, take care of that dragon. Queen now busts through the wall and is joining the kill squad. I love when that happens, like when you're not 100% sure what your queen's gonna do, but you gotta get your kill squad in and she just kind of meets up with them perfectly. Says, hey, what's up, let's do this. <laughs> Here we go. So the queen's getting in there doing work. He's got skeletons kind of all over the base and that uh, Grand Warren's protecting them down there. Just a beautiful job. Queen moves in, helping back up that king, starting to take down all that stuff. Really needs to get to this Inferno Tower. So he rages up the king. Queen's now in there. She needs to take a few more shots. Down goes the Inferno. Things are looking pretty at this point. Grand Warden still protecting like probably a eight witches down there. Look at all those skeletons just ripping through this base. Oh, he did bring the double jump. That's right. I thought I thought he did. Sorry, guys. I literally have such a small screen. I'm narrating this off. It's not even funny. So <laughs> bear with me on this one. But the double jump, see, it basically unlocked the entire base. The only thing it didn't, the only thing the two jumps did not unlock is the compartments between 12 and about three o'clock almost uh but that doesn't matter because there's a bazillion skeletons still running around there are no defenses to go on this base it's gg and that will be tree in the bag with a swag or an ability to boot through that one in for you jp so really nice job guys so um Got, please check out Power COC if you're looking for an up and coming war clan. Um, I think it's oh I wish I could read that, but PowerCocGaming.com I think it said. Uh, just check it out. Uh, the link will be underneath um, in the comment section. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I was looking at the wrong one. <laughs> but here's the Power COC information, right? These guys are up and coming. They are serious business and uh, are going to be jumping into the arranged war scene, I'm sure, very soon. Just got to get their nines trained up a little bit and get some of those hero levels up, and they are good to go. So please, guys, if you're looking for an elite war clan up and coming, these guys will not disappoint. Check them out here. So uh, I think that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. And until then, I'm out.